Hello everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and welcome to a project that's been a long time in the making, and that is a walkthrough of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, the high definition version of the game. So I recently picked up this copy through the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection for PS3, and uh, many of you are aware I did do a walkthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1. And I promised that I would eventually do Metal Gear Solid 2, and we are now to that point. This is only the second Metal Gear Solid game that I've actually played and completed. So before I get too much into this game and uh, spend some time in this episode exploring the options of the game, I figured I would let the little opening kind of montage sequence play itself out, and you all can enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's watch this little montage video together for this wonderful game. Pretty awesome. So that'll give you a nice little uh, preview of a lot of the things that we can expect in this particular playthrough. So here we have the HD edition opening scene. It's a little bit different than the regular version for PS2, which had a blue title screen. And uh, <laughs> if you press the L2 button, you get a little shot effect there. So our options here are, of course, new game and load game. And uh, at the bottom here, we actually have some unique features to this version. We have the transferring edition, which allows us to actually play the game on a Vita. 
We have Snake Tales, which is a special version for this game, which includes some missions that you can take on with Snake. We have, of course, Missions, which is just VR missions. And then we have a Specials unit or uh, menu here. So basically, you can get some tutorials on how to do some basic actions for your different warriors. And of course, there's a previous story event. So unlike the first Metal Gear Solid game where they gave you some preview videos, this version does not have that. Instead, they have books or, you know, documents that tell you a little bit about the previous story, the events of the Shadow Moses Island adventure that we had previously. So they're done in kind of escalating order in the sense that this first one is only 10 pages and it gives you a very brief overview and then after this, there's a much more in-depth version, which tells you the events from the eyes of someone else. And then finally, if you work your way through that version, which is like 129 pages, there is a completely in-depth from the perspective of Natasha, the weapons expert from the first game. And that one's like 300 and some pages, something ridiculous. And uh, you do have to go through each and every page to unlock the next version. So I have actually sat down and read through all of these page by page. Um, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and do that. What I'm going to do is just show you how to access them. So we'll start by showing you this brief document, the 10 pages. You guys can read that kind of on your own time. And then I will go through all of the pages of the second document to open up the third one, just to kind of show you what it's like. And once we're done with that, we'll highlight the different options for a new game. And then next time, we're actually going to access and start this wonderful game. And of course, being a Metal Gear Solid game, you know that means there's going to be a lot of cinemas or full motion videos. It's almost like playing a movie. Not quite heavy rain-like, but uh, definitely there's a lot of kind of downtime as uh, the story plays out. The New York Mirror. Interesting. But now we have the second book. The Shocking Conspiracy Behind Shadow Moses. So I will quickly go through these pages. And uh, I will meet you guys back here once I've done that and show you the third book in the series. So see you in a little bit. And finally we're done. Jeez. But there you go. In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. The unclassified or unofficial truth actually. By Natasha uh, Romanenko? So you can go through that if you guys want with your own version of the game. We also have a photo album and a dog tag viewer, but uh, I will get into all of that as we continue onward with the game. So let's start off a new game. Now there are actually two different games in this version. Well, in all the versions of the game. There's the Tanker Plant, which is both chapters of the game. And then you can also play the Tanker or the Plant separately. So since this is going to be a semi-complete playthrough, we'll do both. And then you can pick your difficulty. Very easy, easy, normal, and hard. Determines the number of enemies, how easily they can see you, things like that. And also the number of dog tags you can collect. I'll be playing on normal. And then you can also pick your radar type. Now the default is radar type 2, which makes the radar disappear. But uh, I want the radar on at all times, so I'm actually going to pick Radar Type 1. And I will see you guys back here in the next episode.